How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, the one and only Chaos Gamer. And yes, we are back with some more My Villain, Academia, Ultra Impact. And in today's video, as you guys can see in the title and in front of your screens, the next UR that is going to be featured on the game, it is going to be UR Twice. Now, I did say this a year ago when SR Twice was in the game. And the UR that was featured with him was the Toka that, yo, Twice should get a UR. And one of these days... I know he's going to get that UR because in Season 5, the way this man just carried with the amount of clones that he was able to summon, that was utterly insane. So now this man is getting the respect that he deserves, which is he's going to be getting a UR. And this UR is going to be coming likely after the Midoriya leaves. So let's take a look at the data mine and see what is going to be in store for us during the next two weeks. And with that being said, let us get started with today's video. So here is Twice. This is his art in his non-awakened form. He is going to be a blue character. I am surprised that they are doing blue once again because if you guys don't remember from last month, we got like three blue characters being the All Might, the Shoto, and the Gran Torino, which by the way, all three of those characters are very good. So the fact that we're getting another blue character, this guy has some competition. So hopefully, he could be at least good enough for people to summon because I know that a lot of people went in on that All Might and a lot of people did get that All Might and the Shoto Todoroki. So again, he has some hefty competition. Hefty. Now this is a better version of the art. You guys can see it full effect. That little um I don't know what it is supposed to be like a string or ruler. I forgot, but basically with the little string and the purple smoke in the background. Then this is his art in the awakened form. This looks like the SR awakened art that we got with this twice. And in my next video that I'm gonna go over, which is going to be the kit. I want to actually compare the two arts together and see whether or not, like, is it actually, like, the exact same or is there little differences between the two. So, we got to wait and see on that. Actually, I don't think it's the same because there's two clones on here, while the SR1, I think, only has one. I don't remember. It's been, like, a year since I've seen that art. And then here is the better version of the art. What I like about this art, though, not just the fact that there's three of him, but the green smoke in the background makes it look even cooler. I don't know why. It just looks amazing to me. Now, this is the Plus Ultra animation, so... As you see right here, he's summoning all his clones. I guess they're just going to do different types of punches and kicks. Right? Yeah, okay. And then they all celebrate together. Let's take a look at it one more time. The one thing I really don't like, though, about this one's Ultra, already off the bat, oh, um, hello? Off the bat is the fact the background. The background is playing. Why is they not in the city that they fought in? Like, I want to see that background with this twice. But probably this twice was an older model or anything. It was like, yo, you know what? Let's just throw this man out here now. Whatever, screw it. Now, the SR that is going to be featured with the twice is going to be Mr. Compressed. Uh, he is going to be purple. This is him in his non-awakened form. It looks cool. And then this is him in his awakened form. You know what I would have liked in his awakened form? Like, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Like, in the crystals, because I don't think Compressed is ever going to get a UR. Let's be honest. Man. Unless later on in the series, he becomes a crazy, broken character that... With this art, they should have added, like, Bakugo into the little sphere and then, like, Fumikage in the other sphere. That would have been sick as hell for SR art. Hopefully, he is good, though, because, you know, a lot of villains are not going to be in the game for a long time because I know for a fact that they want to slow down with the villain characters. But there's not that many villains in my hero, so it doesn't make sense that, you know, they should be bad. Hopefully, they are all good. Um, we have the memory that's going to be featured on the banner, which is compressed playing some cards with Toga and Twice. I like the art on this. It's actually like pretty funny. Um, something that I think they would do in the show normally. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to see this card in the light of day, to be honest. Like, yeah, I'm not pulling it. Maybe I do pull on this thing, but who knows, but I don't think I'm going to see it. Next, we have the Astro Support memory that's going to be featured on the banner. Pretty random, I know, but that's how they like to do things. Uh, it is just Kendo, Tetsu Tetsu Tetsu, and um, the Phantom Thief. They're all just chilling, playing a game of Melon Strike. I don't know what the hell they like to call that. I call it. This is the SR free to play support memory. This should be a UR support memory. I don't get why in the hell this is an SR support memory. This art is amazing right here. Why is it an SR? I mean, sure, everybody can have it and it's like a nice little collection, but I just feel like for this art, it's disrespectful. I don't know. You let me know. But I feel like it's disrespectful that this art is an SR and it's free to play. I'm talking about. If it should be free to play, at least make it a UR. Um, next right here, we do have the fact that uh, the memories were crew going to be out on the 17th so oh, okay so we might not see his twitter at least until the 14th or the 15th but they usually like to tweet it two to one day before the actual band is coming out 
Next we have the main quest um, new chapters. If you guys didn't know, there is going to be chapter 12 being introduced into the game. I don't know when it's getting added. Probably going to be added when Twice comes into the game. Or after Twice gets added to the game. We'll have to see. So as you guys can see right here. Um, main quest new chapter select recruit 5. Then we have main quest new recruit um, 6. And if anything, I think that is the purple endeavor. Purple endeavor left like two weeks ago. So the fact that they're bringing him back. That's insane right there. I just wish that these type of banners they had like free tickets or some shit because nobody's gonna waste their gems on this one. It's like the featured list is absolutely insane. Next we have right here is the main quest new chapter select with two six. So S nice bro. The red toga I can't speak. This is the daily thing, I can't speak. The red Shigaraki is going to be featured on the banner as you can see right here. And as you see on this little title, it says new chapters for main quests are coming so this is where they start to go into season 5 so I don't know if they're gonna put everything into chapter 12 or they're gonna do chapter 12 and then they're gonna do chapter 13 you have to wait and see as you see there's the set 3 set 4 so blue hawks is going to be featured with this endeavor that is a pretty bad duo to have because people are gonna want to go for the endeavor but people are not gonna go for the hawks the hawks is garbage um next we have the Shoto and the Ida. And then with um, Shigaraki, we have Purple Dabi. Okay. You know what would have made this better? Get rid of the Shigaraki, put the overhaul. And that would have been a better banner to summon him. That's how you get people to summon because that overhaul is still a good character to have. Next, we have the V, Tower, UR, and SR boost character select. So these are going to be the three URs that you are going to be wanting to use um, for the next V Tower, which is going to be introduced. I don't know when it's going to be introduced, but it should be introduced relatively soon. And it's going to be starting on the 22nd of August, not the 9th of um, I thought it was the 9th of September. Not the 9th of September, the 12th of September. But it's actually going to be the 22nd of August. Next, we have this 5 million download celebration login bonus. If you guys didn't know as well, apparently now is when the 6 month global anniversary started. I thought it started when the Midoriya was introduced to the game. I guess that's my bad. I get false information there because you would have thought since Midoriya is being introduced to the game. That's when the six month an um, anniversary started, but apparently they're starting it now. And twice is going to be the headliner of that. But with that, that's basically everything that we have on this data mine. And with that, that's where we're ending the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but it's always greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe. Let me know down below. Are you going to be summoning on this UR twice, or are you going to be skipping the man and trying to see what is going to be coming out at the end of the month? Because I assume at the end of the month, that's where we are going to be getting our next festival character. And it might be some... Yeah, it'll probably be another Bakugo or Shoto Todoroki or they might move on from that and actually release another hype character that could be introduced as a festival character. But with that, folks, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.